So I've been considering microdosing psilocybin for a while now, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. And it's been probably over seven years since my last time doing any form of psychedelics. Throughout my life, I have done psychedelics. I actually tried LSD for the first time when I was really young. I've done acid, I've done magic mushrooms, also MDMA, which I don't know if it actually counts as a psychedelic, but I do have experience with this stuff, so it's not my first time ever trying magic mushrooms, but it is gonna be my first time trying microdosing. I've done a bit of research on the topic, and while a lot of people do claim that they see benefits from it, the few studies that have been done do show that there is some changes in the brain and do show that there is a bit of an effect, but maybe not as much as some people make it out to be. The study I found in the National Library of Medicine that was published in 2022 was a study around microdosing with psilocybin mushrooms, a double-blind placebo-controlled study. They found that people that took the actual mushrooms felt the effects more strongly than those who took the placebo, but this was only true for the participants who guessed correctly that they had actually taken real mushrooms. This study showed that there were some changes in brain activity, especially in a specific pattern called the theta band, but overall complexity of the brain signals remained the same. In all other tests, like creativity and cognition, there wasn't much difference between microdosing and the placebo. There were a few minor changes, but these hinted at slightly worse thinking abilities, not better. The conclusion of this study showed that small doses of these mushrooms can cause some noticeable feelings and changes in brain activity. However, they did not find any evidence to support the claims that microdosing improved overall well-being, creativity, or thinking. Nonetheless, I wanna try it for myself just to see how it makes me feel, see if it helps me at all with creativity, productivity, or any of the other claims that a lot of people tend to make when they microdose. So for the sake of science, I wanted to document my first time microdosing and just describe my experience and share my thoughts and opinions on my first time. I've always been someone who thinks that psychedelics have a lot of benefits. I'm glad to see that there's being more research done on it. I know that it's supposed to help with PTSD and mental health. So I will be doing a heroic dose here in the future where I'll be taking five grams and sitting in a dark room by myself for the duration of my trip to see if that helps me with any of my mental health issues. In the past, when I have done heroic trips, I definitely feel a lot of benefit from it. You know, they say that, that doing a heroic dose is like having a thousand therapy sessions at once. I don't know if that's an exaggeration, but I will say that in the past when I have done them, I, I feel pretty good afterwards and I, I have a lot of clarity and feel like I've defragged my brain a bit. I'm gonna try to document all that stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll make sure when I do make that video that I'll link it to this video and vice versa and any other videos that I might do in the future around psychedelics and psilocybin and magic mushrooms and my experiences with them and how it's benefiting my life. A heroic dose is considered to be five grams of psilocybin mushrooms. I'm doing a micro dose in this video, which is gonna be 0.5 grams, which is the amount that was used in the double blind placebo study that I was just checking out before making this video. So I'm gonna kind of stick to that number. And I will say that I'm kind of surprised how much 0.5 grams is when you weigh it out. I was expecting it to be a lot less, but it was a lot more than I had expected. These mushrooms are pretty dry and light, but just the quantity of mushrooms that equaled out to be 0.5 grams was more than I expected. And if you're wondering what strain of mushrooms I'm taking for this microdosing experiment, it is the golden teacher strain, just in case you were curious. But it's early in the afternoon, my wife and kids are gone, and I have some free time to do this, and I'm gonna try to be productive, plan out some videos, and plan out some things that I've been trying to do with my YouTube channel, and see if this does help me with that in the sense of productivity and creativity. All right, so here we go. So there is 0.5 grams. They never taste good. I know people put them on pizza. People make tea out of it. I've always just eaten them. I don't mind the taste of mushrooms too much, so I can handle it. 
I'm also currently on an empty stomach or fairly empty. I had a protein shake after my workout a little earlier, but other than that, I don't have anything in my stomach. I intermittent fast, so in the morning I usually don't eat and I usually eat after my workout. But since I decided to microdose today, I figured I'll just have a protein shake to put something in my stomach when I take these so that it doesn't upset my stomach and I'll probably eat here in a little bit once some time has passed after taking these. With that said, I'm gonna check back in in about 30 minutes to see if I feel any different and let you know how things are going. A few moments later. So it's been about 40 minutes since I took the 0.5 grams of psilocybin mushrooms. And I gotta say that I don't really feel much different. I'm gonna give it a little more time. I've just been jotting down a video idea that I had and it's not that noticeable. I, I feel like I might have like a little head change, but I don't feel like I'm tripping, but I also don't feel like I'm euphoric or creative or anything like that. I kind of feel a little foggy. It's really like the only thing I can describe right now as I'm trying to like talk into the camera because I've been sitting here silently jotting down my thoughts for a video. I don't know, it's really not much different. I guess maybe there's a little bit of like, I don't know, floaties in my eyes. I, I don't see the typical geometric patterns that I see or any of the colors or any, you know, trails on my hands or anything like that. Other than that, I, I can't say I feel much. So far, eh, maybe this really is just all hype. And if I am feeling anything, it's not a big enough change in my mental state or my creativity so far. Since it is such a small amount, I don't I don't really know if I'm gonna feel any of that. And I think that I would have felt at least some of the initial reaction by now, because it has been a little over 40 minutes at this point. I'll check back in after I eat something now and let you guys know if I feel any different. So as I'm cooking my breakfast or late lunch, I guess, I don't know, I, I'm not, feeling like I'm awe-inspired. I'm not feeling like I'm super creative. I honestly am feeling just a, a lot of brain fog. That's really what I'm noticing the most. I'm doing some of like the mundane things that I usually do. I was washing some of the dishes I was using and I'm just cutting up some chicken and cooking some eggs. I wish I could say that my thoughts are any different than what they usually are. If anything, I'm having a harder time processing my thoughts. I don't feel like I'm sharp. I don't know how to explain it. it. Brain fog is the best thing that I can kind of use to describe it, but I feel like I'm in a haze. I feel like I'm not completely clear and I feel like like my cognitive ability might even be declined where I don't feel like it's it's improved. I feel like, like it, it's taken me longer to think about stuff and I feel like what I would feel like if I was like smoking weed. I would say that that's what it's comparable to not like super stone, but more of like when you're coming down and just in that hazy, slow brain, like everything's not clear around you kind of feeling. That's that's really that's really the best way I could describe it. I don't know, I'm not really sold on this. It's gonna be an hour since I took that microdose in about 10 minutes, and I'll probably be eating just around that time. I'm starting to think that this is kind of bullshit, uh, if I'm being honest. that's. My honest opinion so far, my first time doing this. And I don't think that magic mushrooms are bullshit. When I take a serious dose and I go on a real big trip, I'll say that I benefit a lot from it. And I don't feel like this is anything that I would benefit from on a daily basis because I'd rather be sharp and clear headed than be groggy and feel like I've been smoking weed because I quit smoking weed because I don't like feeling like that. And I wouldn't start doing this if this is how it's gonna make me feel. I really thought that it would make me feel a little different. So it's been an hour, exactly an hour. I'll reiterate that I don't really feel much except for some brain fog. And as I try to talk to the camera, it feels like a little difficult to get my words out. Like, I'm just having a hard time processing my thoughts. I will say that walking around and cooking kinda did make me feel different than just sitting here, but beyond the brain fog and just feeling hazy, I don't think there was anything else that I felt besides that. I'm just gonna finish eating right now. I'm gonna try to finish working on the video idea that I had, 
and get done with that stuff and I'll check back in in a little bit to see if I feel any different. All right, now I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. All right, so it's been two hours now. I actually feel like my head's clearing up a bit now. I gotta say, after trying this for one day, I don't really feel like this is something that I'll keep doing. I don't know if doing it more would make it better, but I don't like the brain fog that I said I was experiencing. And I don't like feeling like my thoughts are hard to process and that's all that this made me feel. I wish that I could say that it was better and say that this was an awesome experience and that I would keep doing it. But honestly, I'm not seeing the benefit of it and I don't think that I'm gonna keep on trying it. It made me feel slow and made it hard for me to think, which I, I don't like and I don't wanna feel like that every day. Uh, so I don't see why I would do this regularly, honestly. That's just my honest opinion. I'm not against psilocybin, I'm not against psychedelics. Pro anything that helps people and I just don't think that this is for me. I don't know, if you're able to try it out or willing to try it out and wanna give it your own go and see how it feels, by all means, give it a shot. If you're someone who has been doing this for a while and have more experience with it and think that I may have done something wrong or I need to continue doing this to really benefit from it, I, I would like to know why I would need to do it more and more if this is just how I'm gonna feel each time I do it. And even if I build a tolerance and I feel this less, if it's this same feeling, I'm, I, don't, I don't see why I would continue to do this on a daily basis. So for now, I'm gonna call this experiment good. In a few days, my wife has plans to take the kids out of town over the weekend, and I'm gonna have some free time, so I do plan on taking a heroic dose, which it's been a while since I've done that, and I'm doing that to try to work some stuff out because I know that there's a lot of benefit in that. I've done it before, and it's been a while since the last time I've done it, so I. I feel like I'm due for it, especially since I've been struggling a lot with my mental health and addiction and all that stuff. I think it's it's gonna be a good time for me to do it because I wanna go in deep in a quiet, dark room with five grams of golden teachers and see if I can unlock my third eye, I guess. All right, with that said, that's it for my first time microdosing. I hope this video was helpful and I appreciate anyone who watched it. Feel free to drop some comments down below and let me know what you thought of it and if you have any suggestions and whatnot. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.